put a vacuum bag in, then we need peel ply, a, a release film, which is either perforated or non-perforated, a breather or bleeder fabric. It actually uh, uses both effects, resin, the air comes through it and also it will absorb any excess resin. The vacuum film to get us a vacuum bag, uh, sealant tape to go on the uh, bag to uh, enable that to be fixed to the tool here. A vacuum breech unit uh, which unscrews. This one is actually a self-cutting one and it will cut a hole through the vacuum bag so that goes underneath. And then you just need a, a pad of the breather so that no resin is going to get sucked up into this unit. We, we put on the uh, peel ply and peel ply is there so as that we have a good surface if we want to do any secondary bonding and uh, that enables to leave leave the part for any time it's also uh, stay on there and keep the part clean so that goes next then uh, perforated in this case it's a perforated film the breather fabric and then we'll put our breech unit on here unscrew this and then we'll need to put seal onto this bag put some of the tape sealant tape on make sure that you uh, apply across the corners Peel the paper backing back like that there, and like that there, and then fix the sealing tape across. So peel back the corner and fix one corner there. Same at this end, and subsequently at all four. Okay, because we've got a line down this end here, we need to put a pleat in here. We will also need to put a pleat in there because of the where the breech unit is going to go, and also because there's a little end here. So that's what the first thing we're going to do now is put a pleat in here. And with the sealant tape on the bag, it's quite easy to do. So what we do there is just bring it like so and like that. So then we've got a pleat. Okay. A long fixing the bag down as we go. get to a point where we have a little plate. Okay, we'll go back down and check that out later. And then on this end is the same thing because we've got a line essentially down here, we want to put a plate in here. And we also want to put a plate in because there's a line here. We also want to put one in here as well. So go along there with the bag firmly down, making sure the corners are well and so are the pleats. Bag so that we have enough to be able to tuck in 
to these areas so as that you can pull uh, it down. Attach the back in. Bag starts coming down. Make sure that it's nicely tucked in, in, in all the areas. Yeah, I think that's got it. There we have, you can see the resin, excess resin coming up into the breather bleeder fabric. Yeah. Okay. We need to leave now the vacuum on until the resin has gelled. If we've got an oven, we can always put it in the oven as long as we can leave the vacuum on at the same time. This, at room temperature will take three or four hours we need the vacuum on for unless we're absolutely certain that the vacuum bag has got no leaks. Right, so we come to demold, take the unscrew the breech unit off and then with the tape just start at one corner, get it going and then just give it sharp tugs and it will come off there we are and we can remove that see there's no resin at that then we just pull the breather fabric off and we can take the release film off and that will leave the peel ply on and if you want to leave the peel ply on all the time until you're ready to use the part then you can do it or you can take it off now. We'll take it off now and it's best because now you get into where you've got crisp resin to wear a pair of sort of work gloves which means that you won't get pricked with resin. Right now we need to get this released off the mould. So we need a, a pla it's better to use a plastic, this is a spreader for fellow, you can use a little plastic wedge that you can cut if you want. But it's better not to use a metal tool. You just slide under here like that. And there we are, we have our part. Following trimming, here we have our trimmed part and a nice looking finish, nice pattern on the carbon.